And what is happening, my dudes? We are about to embark on a journey to the Savage Planet. That's right, this is Chris from the Like and Sten Gaming Channel, and thank you so much for tuning in. We are going to jump straight into the game, guys. Like I said, I've been holding off on playing this one here until I got to experience with you guys. So let's get started. A nice new empty slot here for the save game. And we are going to campaign 0% zero, zero minutes of Get Underway. Kindred Aerospace. This is the fourth best, apparently. There you go. Now, guys, when I first saw this game, it was about a week before it came out, and I was so intrigued. Uh, can't really tell you why. I just was. Um, and I want to see if I can share my experience of the game with you guys here. Now, naturally, uh, this is a new setup. If you have any questions or comments, any way I can improve this new setup that I've got going for the uh, recording here, uh, let me know. Start Earth Destination Planet RV26. ARV26, sorry. It is a first person game. Hi, my name is Martin up, like Tweed, it. President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. Relaunch the Javelin. Let's have a look around first. For almost 30 years. Use 3D printer. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can print some. I take it this is where you get your uh, upgrades, which is cool. Keep that in mind. Best interstellar exploration company. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel. We have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars! Frog, the only food in this universe that tastes exactly like it sounds. Which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is. While there's nothing in the world I would like more than to launch this craft back to Earth so you could rejoin your loved ones, should you have any, this remains impossible hmm. until you find a suitable fuel source on the planet. Well, that's a shame. Can I do anything here? No. Search for a suitable fuel source. And your partner, if you have one. Got some grub. Who doesn't love some grub? Unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. Let's go, stress. Okay. As your habitat comes equipped I have with a 3D no printer. Let's that check is this out. Journal. Survey the planet. Okay, ongoing. Okay. Fueling a javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. But I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck. We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled survey. Stay alive. And see you soon. Goodbye. Good sir. Thank you. Long-term space travel is not for everyone. Side effects from long-term space travel are uncommon, but can include headache, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose veins, bloody stools, feeling of emptiness, or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, That's a little much. Gender diffusion, spontaneous dental prolapse, mild discomfort, or death. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and <laughs> or rescue you. Note that current rescue time exceeds six months. Welcome. Oh, My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But cat. first things first. Please log into the computer and fill out a teeny weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. Make sure I'm not crazy. Aha. Uh -huh. Good idea. We are logging in. New report. Looks like you made it. Good job! As part of your kindred employee experience program benefits contract, you are contractually obligated to submit regular reports during your mission. Let's begin. 
one of these images is a photo of you. One of my jobs is to continually assess your mental state, and as space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, huh. could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? I'm gonna be this guy. Thank you. I'm super glad you're not crazy. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Explorer J. 75x321. This is the end of the report. Please press the submit button to send your answers to Kindred Status Center for your processing. Enjoy your adventure and stay alive. Submit. Alrighty, so we've got video, stats, alien research, collectibles, trash, and exit. Let's check out our messages. Welcome from Kindred Aerospace. Greetings, explorer name here. Welcome to the first day of your great adventure. We could not be more excited. So, welcome you to Planet. And the name here. As a key member of Kindred's quest to explore the stars, it is imperative that brave people such as yourself turn over every rock, scan every blade of grass, and dig the precious crafting ingredients from the innards of every beast you encounter so that a database may grow and humanity may continue to expand across the infinite research space. Humanity has been trapped on Earth for the entirety of its existence. We can be bigger, we can be more. Help us get there. Sincerely yours, Martin Tweed, founder and CEO. He said that himself. What a kind man. Tweed, welcome. Oh, Hi, my name is Martin that Tweed, is a scary president thing. and CEO. Oh, we don't need to watch that again. Alien research, nothing. Alrighty. And now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and Ooh. step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. Can I not? Do I have to? Eh. Ah. Hey, I've got my food. Apparently it's a bait. My javelin. So, uh, welcome to ARY 26. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. More detonation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. Ooh. Hey, in your exploration, the javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. I would love to launch them by opening the exterior hatch. How do I open the exterior hatch? Like that. Okay, quickly open up the exterior hatch. I'll interact with this one here. There we go. It requires a little farmsy, and I got hit in the face. Going to come back. Now they'll provide you with approximate locations of resources and important info. The javelin is pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang upness. Do that now. <laughs> banged upness. Let's let's search. Let's Don't scan. Don't forget to continually scan your uh -huh. surroundings. The camera will transmit data back to Kin. This exterior panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. Fuel tanks are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel mm. source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. Can I, can I just put that back on? Do I have super strength? Alrighty, I guess we're running. Where am I going? Show objective. Where's my objective marker? Aha, this way. I'm glad I've got my can of root. Aha, scan it. Ah, uh, there is our missing panel. Well done. In the future, you. whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use survey to orient yourself. The javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. Oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let, Let me mark it. Okay. Fixer upper. I like it. Let's go. Woo! We're on our way. Aha, so you can't climb. Got it over here. I am detecting a fortuitously fragile surface nearby. Please scan to confirm. Oh, yeah, let's scan everything. Cool. Aha, scan These one, crystals scan look extremely breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. How do, how do you so, take out So, looks like you will need a new tool in order to venture further. I have added a new blueprint to the javelin 
fucking 3D slap. printer that should do the trick. But in order to print it, you'll need to gather some basic resources from the local fauna. Ah. They're drugs, but good drugs. For healing, not fun. Puffer birds may not look it, but they're salty as hell. Oh, not sure if I'll yes. Think that. You've discovered Grob's hidden anti nutritional value. <laughs> okay. Hey, look at that. You picked up some carbon. Good for you. Nice work. You have collected enough carbon to craft a basic nomad <laughs> The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready things. for your input. I'm just going to run around slapping everything. Power slap. I want a kick. Why can't I kick? Haha! Nope. Oh, they're back. How are they back? Back in! I missed him. Okay, let's let's run back here. I think we need to head back inside the ship, so let's teleport back inside. Use the teleporter just to modulate and recombobulate, of course. Every time you return to the javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Um, Anything you drop outside right. the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. Not my meat hands. Weapon. I can craft a weapon. A nomad. Pistol. I will. I will take a nomad pistol. Why not? Now you've got a weapon. The single most important That's amazing. tool for any colonizer. I can get an advanced battery. I can't make ooh a anything at the moment. Okay, that's fine. We don't need to make anything. We are well on our way. Backpack, and launch boosters. I'll get some launch bo jump thrusters. Which one's better? What? Okay. And visor, I can't really do much. Okay, that's cool. No, it's broth. Trillion more. Wow. Who doesn't love taking broth? Earth by storm. Don't be a snob. Eat with the mob. Replace your food with broth. Let's go down here and out. Too frustrating. Something's going to do this. Woohoo! Oh, no. Ambient temperature 81 degrees. Biosign's nominal. <gasps> Let's go. Shoot your way out of the ice caverns. Let's see if I can figure out how to shoot. I think I've got it. This game strikes me a little like um, No Man's Sky. But better. Because you actually have opponents to face and it's not just a walk in the park and you literally walk around scanning everything. I mean, there's still a scanning aspect, but this just looks more fun. And I'm having more fun. Bam! 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 Okay, so these shots go through the glass up, so if I... I've already scanned all that, nothing else for you to scan. Hey, I can go over here. Let's go up here. This will be the way back, I'm sure. I probably don't need to go that way yet. And we charge. There we go, we're out. Slap. Slap, slap, slap. That was an accident. Whoops. It may sound weird, but do you see a large power looming above you? I only ask because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our Ooh, initial scan hello. said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. Can I collect this stuff? How, how do I collect this stuff? Oh, life! Oh, what's that? Should have probably scanned it first. That thing you picked up looks disgusting and squishy and bouncy. 
Springy seed. It's a bouncy castle in the sea floor. I have received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. Alright. We've got to go 300 meters this way, so let's go. Oh, that's that's a nasty uh, spring. These unhatched alien eggs can be used like a natural trampoline. Oh, wait, what? Technically hey. iffy. Yes. Effective? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. We've got these things over here again. Have I scanned this one yet? Yeah, that's the vitality plant. Got all that up there. Oh, there's something here. I'm detecting a nearby organic compound which may be useful on our exploration efforts. Please scan it. Mm, I believe that mixing that orange substance with your oxygen supply may allow me to tweak its impact on your biology, which would in turn allow you to be more attuned to the local climate. Long-term impacts are unknown, but ingestion is, of course, completely your decision. Please remain calm. I am monitoring your physical response. All is as predicted. I am adjusting your health and biofeedback to reflect your improved suitability to the chemical mix. I salute your continued embrace of adventure. I am a little afraid of my continued embrace of adventure. These remains are a hell of a lot older oh, than anything spell. else we found on this planet. Alrighty, let's keep uh, keep it moving. Is this, this is not for music. <laughs> Can I scan it? Oh, this is ice. Haha, I can run with ice. Oh, no, I can't. Ah! Ah! I need to scan these things. Ah! Exactly like a normal squid, except for its aerial properties and size and everything about it. Ah, now you're gonna attack the jellyfish thing, right? No, you're not. And last one! Yes! I was telling my mate uh, who ended up getting uh, No Man's Sky the same time I did, because we both wanted someone to be able to experience it with, why not, you know? Um, and I ended up trading it just because I didn't see much of an interest, I didn't have much of an interest. I didn't have much of an interest in playing the game if there was no challenge to it. You literally got to run around doing whatever you wanted with no consequences. Like, it just felt like there could have been more to the game. When I saw this, this looked like it was more to the game. Oh, that's new. What are you going to do with that? Carbon vein. Smash this deposit. Shall we smash it with a slap? Aha! I will take the carbon. And it's an egg sack! Let's eat some more egg sack! I'm not more than... Yeah, there is another one up there. How do we um, get up there by going around? That makes sense. Woohoo! And... We're up! Help the stamina in the room, that's right there. Oh, good news, bad news. Good news is, those things you ate made you way harder to kill. Bad news is, you're harder to kill because most of your bones have been replaced with rock-hard space tumors. Good news, potential partners dig tumors. Or so I hear. <laughs> okay, so I no longer have bones, I've just got tumors. Interesting. We will rock with it for now. Let's run with our rock-hard tumors. Uh, anything else to scan? Oh, canopy leaf. I wonder if you can... Nope. Don't know how to do that. Oh, what's that over there? That looks like something. A cracked wall. I have a few theories on what is possible here. All of them involve explosives. I like explosives. That Let's upgrade go. would be very useful indeed. I have sent a request to Kindred, but we have yet to locate the required resources on this planet. Stay tuned. Oh, stop moving. There we go. It thinks you're gonna kill it. Oh, how accurate. Ah! That 
was scary. What the fuck? It thinks you're gonna kill it. Oh, how accurate. Take these things out from a distance. One. We got some of the silicone. Got the second one. I know that was a third around here somewhere, but where? Nope. Is that going bye bye? means. I don't know. Let's run over here and see what they are looking at. Oh, there's something here. What's this? Oh, no, there's something behind me. There it is. There it is. Over here. Come onto land so I can harvest your corpse with a silicone. See, now, I keep saying that No Man's Sky I had no challenge, and it's not like this game here is being overly challenging at stage, but it does look like it would be a little more challenging than No Man's Sky, let's face it. I mean, guys, have a look. And it just looks more fun. Let's see if we can scan that. No, no, nothing to scan. Probably should have scanned that vine. Can't believe. So leafy, so luscious. So, can't slap it either. Okay. Now there's something over here. What's this? Hello. Grapple flower. The field plant has anchored itself to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you'd fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Now let's go over here. Actually, can you do anything with that? Nope. Can't scan that. Okay. Now. The fact that there's no gravity in some of these places is kind of amusing, but let's keep going. Go on this way. I know I should go on that way, but I want to explore first. This episode's just getting the hang of it, trying to scan as much as possible. We will naturally be dropping another episode in a day or two. As said previously, guys, this one here will more than likely be the new Thursday, Sunday upload. And we'll see what we can do. Oh, there's something up there. I want to. I want to get up there. Can't get up there. Okay. Oh, hello. Scan that. Metallic. Now that's metal. A bag spun from a wiry metallic thread filled with carefully preserved seeds. A badass. Uh, a salt crystal? I don't want to scan the salt crystal. I want to scan the other things. Oh, it's got a sniffle. Aww. It's got a sniffle. Then a respite. Yeah, sure. Where's that metallic sack? Okay, me. What do I do with this? Springy seed. I want the springy seed. Probably missing something really easy to do with these, and I'm sorry, guys. I uh, I have to apologize. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, let's get back. Now, as we saw back at the ship, there were some uh, blueprints to get us a second nope. jump, which would probably be how we get that up there. So we'll have to just come back, so that's fine. Let's see. We're at the 24 minute mark, so we will keep going for another 5 minutes. We'll probably pick up this next uh, objective marker, probably head back to the ship and uh, call it there. One here is floating. Oh. Oh, I'm running so fast, there's winds. Alright, now. Got some health stuff there. We don't need health stuff. We are still full of health. Anything else to scan? Hello? Oh. Ooh. What's that? These plants can't properly pollinate without a grapple seed. Oh. Oh. Hmm. 
Oh, thank you. That was very nice. No. I'm glad we figured out what happens if we fall off. <laughs> that could have been a little bad. <laughs> we found that out a little later on. Uh, oh, what? Gotta scan these guys again. Like Probably. a normal puffer bird, but wrinkly. Is this the jump fuel? This anthill right is way bigger than the ones on Earth, but the ants are the same size. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, that scream! <laughs> the smaller you get, the faster you get. Which is really annoying. Let's just destroy this real quick. Get some uh, more carbon so we can ensure that we can get back through to the other place. No. We've already been over here, I think. But they respawn? No? Maybe. Hello. We're gonna need to go around. Let's not fall off the edge again. That was a little bad last time. I feel so bad for killing those little things, I should stop. And yeah. Yeah, I need to stop killing those. Mm, not, no. Second, okay. Now I can... Not do anything else here. That's another... Looks to have fallen from the nearby tower at least 400 years ago. So whatever was that tower was massive. Got it. I understand. Oh crap. No, ah! A little close. Got that one. Hey, fudge. And that one is down. We'll destroy that as well, even though we don't want to do the things that drop from it. Aha! More I don't get it. This planet was what supposed to be devoid of intelligent life, but these structures. Why don't you scan this one? I don't want to scan this one. I wanted to scan the other one, but okay, let's scan it. Looks like some sort of transport device. If you turn it back on, we can kill you here and make a clone of you at another one you've activated. Or, sorry, <laughs> I'm supposed to say teleport. Before you jump in, Kinder says I need to read you a 400 page waiver absolving them of all responsibility. I speed read it. Oh, thank you. I, I appreciate it because I wasn't going to sit around and wait. Uh, jump thrusters this way. I need that fuel first, so we'll quickly put the fuel. And I completely missed my turn, it's up here, isn't it? Oops, sorry guys. Um trying to keep the key to we from the microphone. If she starts talking, I'll pop in, of course. But hey, well, I did say we we're gonna get back to the, uh, oh, it's a scannable, no. Get back to the ship by the end of the episode, so let's quickly speed it up here. Already scanned you, have I scanned your, uh, that's just how I hit this one. And we'll leave that one. Goodbye. Now we can crouch here. Oh, I can fly. That's actually really cool. 
Let's scan this one before we grab it. Actually, blow shrub. Lowy. But maybe useful too. Okay, that's cool. It's actually really cool. Just gonna grab one. Oh, no. Let's go under. And up. Uh, and this game is a lot of running around. Let's quickly go through. See if we can get all the way past. We got through. We made it. And that's probably what I'm looking at for right there. Let's have a look. That's a jump oh, across the shrine. This may be the first ever chronicled example of alien art. And let's just run. <gasps> no fall damage. That is a relief. Because that probably would have killed me. Ah! And ladies and gentlemen, the cat did stop the recording, so I apologize for any lost frames there. I have endeavored to get it there, and we are back. As I said, we will try to pick up this jump thruster stuff before we leave. So let's quickly get up here. Oh, that was close. Can't scan that. Okay. Extract and analyze. Extract this fuel probably a lot of fuel in that. And we made it. Okay. Good work. Now you have the required resources to print a brand new jump pack at the habitat. <laughs> well untested and not necessarily safe, it is guaranteed to be amusing. <laughs> That's all we ask, isn't it? It would be amusing. Right, let's go this way. I'm pretty sure I can't go that way. So let's just run back here. We grab a little flashlight. Sprint through. Whoops, definitely went the wrong way there. Get up! Get up! There we go. Can I slide into these things? Nope, that does nothing. Quickly harvest the carbon that's here. Oh, I know I need to go the other way, but let's quickly see what's up here. Oh, this is the way to go. Look at that, they both come out of the same end. We made it. We're free. There should be a nice and easy way to get back to the, uh... Where's the teleportation thing? Over here. Over on the right. Okay. Right. Grab some more of these. Got a lot of grot. Nothing else to scan really quick. Oh. Now, let's kill ourselves and clone ourselves so we can continue living. You can craft an upgrade, if you wanna. If I wanna. I do wanna. But guys, I think I'll leave that for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and... Yeah. Hello. Peace! Is this thing working? Sorry, buddy. Hey! Hey, yeah, you! Hi, I apologize for the one-sided nature of this message, but, you know, communication across vast distances makes it impossible to do anything else. So, I hear you've arrived on ARY-26, and I've, uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data, and I have to tell you, we have a few questions. <laughs> well, as you know, every planet we initially surveyed showed uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... Whoa. <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... We... We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay. Uh, how did our scanners miss it? Who built it? I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity. After all. I need you to transmit this data directly to me. Okay? I've already updated your transfer protocols. This needs to be our little secret for now.